Want to change your life and make $120,000 a year? Get one-on-one -on -one tutoring so you can go from no-code to software developer in three months. Abstraction versus Encapsulation by John Codes. All right, so let's talk about the difference between encapsulation and abstraction in c -sharp. Like how ketchup and mustard go together on a hot dog. Encapsulation is like keeping your money in a piggy bank where only you know the combination to open it. No one else can see how much money you have or take it without you knowing. In c -sharp, encapsulation means keeping the implementation details of a class private and only providing controlled access through methods, properties, or events. This means that other objects can use the class without having to know how it works. For example, let's say you have a class called bank account that has a private variable called balance that stores the current balance of the account. And then you have public methods called deposit and withdraw that let you add or subtract money from the balance by keeping the balance private. You're encapsulating the implementation details of the class and other objects can use the class without having to know how it works. Abstraction is like using a remote control to change channels on a TV where you don't have to know how the TV works. You just press a button to watch your favorite show. In abstraction, in C -sharp, abstraction means simplifying the complexity of a class by only showing the important parts. You use abstraction classes or interfaces that define the essential methods, but not the implementation details. For example, let's say you have an abstract class called vehicle that defines an essential method like drive and stop. Then you have a class called like car and bike that inherit from vehicle and provide the implementation details. By using abstraction, the user can work with the object at a higher level of understanding without needing to know about all the underlying details. Abstraction and encapsulation both have their pros and cons, like how vanilla and chocolate ice cream are both good but different. Encapsulation allows you to keep the implementation details hidden so the class can change without affecting other objects that use it. Also makes the code more secure. Abstraction allows you to reduce complexity, making it easier to understand and use the class. It allows for flexibility, as a different implementation can inherit from the same interface. In terms of business and developers, both of these concepts are important for creating maintainable and scalable code, like how a hammer and nails are important for building a house. Encapsulation allows for code that is more secure and abstraction allows for code that is more flexible and easier to understand. All in all, encapsulation and abstraction are like two sides of a coin. They work together to make your code more secure, flexible, and easier to understand. They are like two best friends, one can't live without the other. Alright, so let's take a look at some examples of extraction and encapsulation in C-sharp, like how a puzzle has different pieces that come together to make a picture. First, let's look at an example of encapsulation. Here's some sample code for a class called bank account that has a private variable called balance that stores the current balance of the account and public methods called deposit and withdraw that let you add or subtract money from the balance. Class. Let's show the class. Here we go. So here we see class bank account, private decimal balance, public void deposit decimal amount, balance plus equals amount. Public void withdraw, decimal amount, balance, minus equals amount. By keeping the balance private, we are encapsulating the implementation details of the class. Other objects can use the class by calling the deposit and withdraw methods, but they can't access the balance directly. It's like keeping your bank account number private, only you have access to it. Abstraction. Now let's look at an example of abstraction. Here's some sample code for an abstraction class called vehicle that defines the essential methods like drive and stop, but not the implementation details. So here's our abstract class, public abstract void drive, public abstract void stop. Class car, it inherits from abstract vehicle and it implements the way the drive method should work on this device and the stop method should work on this device. Abstraction. In this example, the vehicle class defines the essential methods that all vehicles should have, like the ability to drive and stop, 
The car class inherits from vehicle and provides the implementation details for those methods. It's like having a remote control for all your appliances. You just press a button and it does the work for you. Abstraction and encapsulation both have their pros and cons, like how a cake can be decorated in different ways, but it still tastes good. Encapsulation allows you to keep the implementation details hidden, so the class can change without affecting other objects that use it. It also makes the code more secure. Abstraction allows you to reduce complexity, making it easier to understand and use the class. It also allows for flexibility as different implementations can inherit from the same abstract class. I hope these examples were useful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. We will gladly help you out. And you can always download the source code on Git if you need it. Have a great day, guys.